what increases the risk of infertility among men. Firstly, the factor is age. Although advanced age play much more important role in predicting infertility, couples in which the male partner is 40 years old or older are more likely to report difficulty in conceiving. Similarly, weight is also another factor. Being overweight or obesity increases the risk of developing infertility or difficulty in conceiving. Smoking also resists in conceiving. Excessive alcohol usage or usage of marijuana also has an influence in uh, making it difficult to conceive. Testosterone. Exposure to testosterone uh, may occur when a doctor prescribes testosterone injections, implants, or topical gel for low testosterone. Or when a man takes testosterone or similar medications which illicitly um, increases their muscle mass. Another factor may be exposure to radiation which may uh, decrease the possibility of conceiving. Frequent exposure to tests tees to uh, high temperatures such as uh, that uh, which may occur in men confined to a wheelchair or through frequent sauna baths or hot tube usage. Uh, this may lead to uh, frequent exposure and radiation which may have an influence on uh, the fertility of man. Exposure to certain medications such as flutamide, cyproterone or such kind of medications which uh, may uh, restrict the conceiving uh, abilities. Exposure to environmental toxin can also be another cause of uh, infertility. For example, exposure to pesticides, lead, cadmium or mercury. What increases risk of infertility in women? Female fertility is known to decline with age. More women are waiting until their 30s and 40s to have children because of the reason that nowadays uh, people get wedlock in later years of life, after 25 at least. In fact, about 20% of women now have their first child after the age of 35. And about one third of the couple in which the woman is older than 35 years, they have fertility problems. Aging not only decreases a woman's uh, chances of having a baby, but also increases her chances of miscarriages. Or there are also possibilities that uh, she may have a child with a genetic abnormality. Because aging decreases a woman's chance of having a baby in the following ways. She has smaller number of production of uh, eggs. Her eggs are not healthy. She is more likely to have health conditions that may cause fertility problem. For example, she may be having a polycystic ovary disease syndrome. She is more likely to have miscarriage. Then other factors may be uh, usage of uh, cigarette smoking or excessive alcohol usage or extreme weight gain or weight loss, excessive physical or emotional stress that may result in amenorrhea, which is absence of the periods, that is menstruation cycle. You said that there are certain kind of uh, psychological factors which are responsible for the causation of infertility. And such kind of infertility is not described by any organic reasons. Female infertility, particularly of unknown etiology, is attributable to psychological factors, so-called psychogenic infertility. This has commonly been defined as fertility difficulties for which no organic cause can be identified and in which psychological mechanisms are assumed to be operating. Studies have attempted to find personality or psychiatric factors that could explain infertility. However, there are very weak uh, 
relationship made uh, regarding the etiology in that involving uh, uncertain gender identity, external locus of control, ambivalency about having children, or psychiatric symptoms like depression or anxiety, or having marital problems. Uh, these marital problems are considered to be camouflaged as infertility and sexual dysfunction. Psychological impact of infertility. The experience and eventual diagnostic confirmation of infertility can have a profound psychological impact, which has been conceptualized and assessed in different ways. High rates of clinically significant symptoms of depression and anxiety have been reported in survey of cohorts of women and to a lesser extent when seeking fertility treatment. More than 20% of women attending an infertile support group reported that they had experienced episodes of suicidal ideation. However, it is said that the labeling of these conditions as psychiatric illness has been criticized because the psychiatric symptom checklist includes somatic symptoms. For example, something is wrong with my body that are the normal among those with infertility. Infertility is regarded as uniquely stressful because it can last for many years and for many, it will not be resolved. Virgin and Wilson in 1990 have identified an infertility strain profile that is characterized by increased anxiety, irritability, profound sadness, self-blame, lowered energy levels, social isolation, and heightened interpersonal sensitivity. Other psychological impacts include guilt, which is very much common among women, together with the fears that uh, earlier sexual experiences or the use of contraceptives or uh, delayed procreation uh, due to pursuing the professional goals have actually compromised fertility. So they feel that something that has been done by them has made them infertile. Similarly, there are some other rational, uh, irrational beliefs uh, of being punished for the past misdeeds or uh, intrinsic unworthiness. These are very much predominant in Pakistani culture, Pakistani society. The frustration associated with being able to control conception and physiological functioning commonly leads to feelings of anger. And this anger um, can be channelized or can be directed towards a number of people. It may be towards the infertile couple, uh, that is, the, sorry, the infertile partner or uh, friends and associates who have been able to conceive easily, who are having their children around. And many people in the society who uh, offer unsolicited advice which is not sought but uh, out of their concern or uh, whatever you say they provide their advice for it. Reactions to infertility is also conceptualized as grief uh, including for many intangible or uh, disenfranchised losses. For example the losses may include the experiences of pregnancy, childbirth, breastfeeding, the children and grandchildren who will not exist, a generation, uh, a genetic continuity, a state of parenthood, and activities and relationship it entails. Uh, similarly, uh, the infertile individual or the infertile couple may also fear losing significant relationship in particular with a partner, physical attractiveness or positive uh, sexual relationship, loss of all these things. Or uh, in our society, it is mostly the women who has to face that and uh, many may offer uh, to allow their spouse to get married to someone else or to have a child. Um, that may be through adoption, but that again, not every uh, couple goes for adoption. In most cases, it has been observed that the spouse allows the partner to marry someone else in order to have a child. 
Fertility difficulties can exert a pervasive negative effect on the quality of life, compromising the planning and commitment to other um, life activities and the effective observable, not only just in women, also in the men, but it is more common among women. It has been observed that the societies where women have few occupational choices and motherhood is the only identifier of the adult status, infertility is highly stigmatizing. In such societies, women are subordinated. They are highly linked to be blamed for infertility. In many cases, they may be divorced because of their failure to bear children which itself is highly stigmatizing or their husbands may marry a second wife and due to the presence of a second wife uh, her status in the family or in the home may also be uh, different in comparison to previous status or status of a mother uh, providing the baby. Divorced and childless women are highly vulnerable when old because adult children are the usual primary supporters of older people. Given the very limited access to assisted reproductive treatments in these settings, infertility has been described as leading to profound human suffering. Despite the numerous areas to address through psychotherapeutic interventions for individuals and couples experiencing infertility, there is limited research examining the efficacy of specific treatment. However, much of the outcome research on therapeutic intervention for people with um, infertility is on CBT, that is cognitive behavioral therapy. It has been seen that cognitive coping strategies, including self-blame, rumination, and catastrophizing that individuals use usually in order to handle infertility-related distress is directly associated with depressive symptoms. Therefore, a health psychologist can help to focus on the cognitive coping skills to implement more positive coping. It may greatly improve uh, the infertility-related distress for individuals experiencing infertility. CBT programs for couples have been designed to optimize chance of conception by improving the sexual functioning and satisfaction and improving the communication between the couples and also by relieving the thoughts of helplessness. Another form of treatment that may be beneficial with people experiencing infertility is acceptance and commitment therapy, which addresses avoided scoping through implementation of techniques meant to build non-judgmental self-awareness, acceptance of self and whatever the conditions are, and living out of one's values. Similarly, psychologists, health psychologists may assist women experiencing infertility by addressing the behavioral problems or behavioral factors that are known to contribute to infertility difficulties. As discussed earlier, there are numerous risk factors for infertility and one of them being overweight or underweight can lead to infertility. There are different group treatment programs for obese, infertile women that uh, have shown that uh, the women achieve weight loss and improvements in self-esteem, anxiety, depression, and general health by the end of the intervention. And overall, all that help in the uh, chances of uh, conceiving. Couple who undergo a stress management and communication skills building program spoke often with each other and um, specifically regarding the infertility and thus are more likely to contact the support groups and other so psychological services. So it is very much important to first help them address their stress and help them learn that how to manage their stress. It is also important to make such couples learn coping skills. There have been different co coping skills treatment program in which problem-focused problem versus emotion-focused coping skill treatment uh, is uh, learned. 
by the infertile couples and infertile females in the problem focus group uh, in one of the study that was conducted by McQueenie Stanton Sigmund in 1997 showed greater well-being after six weeks of intervention. At one month follow-up, the emotion focus group showed greatest gain in well-being. However, it was seen that though the groups were um, having slight delay or you can say they were taking slight time, but there was improvement in both the groups. Either they were having problem focus uh, coping skill treatment or they were having emotion focus coping treatment. By 18 months, the problem focus group demonstrated the greatest well-being, though both groups had continued improvement. Emotion focus treatment is designed to assist in regulating the effect, while problem focus seek to increase perceived control over the infertility by building assertive communication skills with medical professionals and helping the infertility-related problem-solving strategies.